Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to find the sum of this finite geometric sequence. And when looking at a geometric sequence, we see this as a sum notation. So we want to kind of revert to a standard sum notation to be able to identify all the parts that we're going to need to be able to find the sum. So to find the sum for n terms, we need to know what a sub 1 is. Um, again, we look at this, make sure that we're starting at the same point, and then it's n minus 1 the formula. Very good. So our a minus 1 is what's multiplied by the r, which in this case we don't have anything. So we can see that it's a 1. So I can say a sub 1 equals 1. Um, then we need to know what our r is. r is what's going to be raised to our power. So that's going to equal to 1 half. And then n equals the number of terms, which in this case is going to be 6. So um, that is going to be your ending term uh, from there. So now, no, now that I know all the information, I'm just going to plug it into my formula. So the sum of n terms is going to equal a sub 1, which is 1, times 1 minus um, my r, which is 1 half, raised to the 6th power, divided by 1 minus 1 half. All right, so let's go and simplify here. So I have, we can really pretty much forget about that 1 there. 1 minus 1 um, over 2 squared, or sorry, 1 divided by 2 raised to the 6th power. And it's not negative. It's just that can be raised up there. That's going to be 1 to the 6th power is 1. Uh, 2 to the 6th power is going to be 64. And then 1 minus 1 half is 1 half. So 1 minus 64 is going to be 63 over 64. What I can do, um, I can't subtract it. I've got to rewrite this as a fraction. I want to rewrite it as a fraction with 64 in my denominator. So I rewrite it as 64 over 64. Now I subtract it across. So therefore, I have 63 divided by 64, subtract across, divided by 1 half. Now, to multiply by my reciprocal, or so now to get rid of the fractions, I can just multiply by my reciprocal, 2 over 1 times 2 over 1. And therefore, ladies and gentlemen, now what I get, um, that's going to, that divides to 1. And you can just multiply this um, across, or what you can see is these 2s. Um, I can divide out a 2 on the top and bottom, and I'm left with a final sum of 63 divided by 32. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you uh, determine the sum of a finite geometric sequence. Thanks.